the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor, U.S. President Roosevelt declared that the United States has officially entered World War II. The U.S. retaliated by sending in combat pilots like Ben Affleck, a future Batman himself. But even before Batfleck, the U.S. government already have a secret agent Batman. 23 years old Lewis Wilson, back in 1943 got the call to become the first actor to portray Batman in live-action film. Is it possible to restore Miss Page to a normal condition? In the 15-episode Batman serial, the six-foot-two Bat Wilson, alongside his trusted sidekick Robin, fought against the machinations of a Japanese spy named Dr. Daka, played by American actor J. Carol Nash. Daka operates a covert espionage organization located in Gotham City's now deserted Little Tokyo. He uses a machine to turn people into zombies to work for him. All right, I'm ready to start. Before I can do any of the operation, it will be necessary to untie me. Give you a chance to smash this equipment? Oh, no, I'll operate it. You just tell me what to do. First, remove the zombie. In Batman's first screen adventure, Columbia Pictures was able to decently adapt the caped crusader's costume to resemble the character's look at the comics of the time, even though the bat ears looked more like devil horns. Unfortunately due to the studio's budgetary constraint the millionaire playboy Bruce Wayne has to share his black 1939 Cadillac Series 61 convertible with the Batman. This serial expanded Batman's mythos by introducing the Bat's cave and its secret entrance through a grandfather clock in Sideways Manor. I'm sorry to have been obliged to disturb you, sir. I'll... Even with its forthright simplicity, Batman's first movie serial outing gained good press notices, and proved to be popular enough for a sequel to be approved, the 1949 Batman and Robin serial by the Secretary of State on August 11th. I deem this reply a full acceptance of the Potsdam Declaration, which specifies the unconditional surrender of Japan. By 1945, with the efforts of many men and women, and including a Batman, World War II finally ended. The relationship between the nations, of US and Japan, improved within the coming years. And for Batman, he has learned to tone down his racist dialogues, and find himself embracing the Japanese culture. As for Lewis Wilson, the 1943 Batman serial was his only outing as the Caped Crusader. Though the serial itself found new life in 1965, when it was re-released in theaters now billed as an evening with Batman and Robin. And because of the popularity of that re-released, Wilson's Batman paved the way for this. Thank you for helping Geekwatch reach 100 subscribers. It would be our pleasure if you continue the journey with us, as we aim for our next milestone, 500 subscribers. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up like, ring the notification bell, write your thoughts in our comment section and please share the video for others to join our watch. When we reach 500 subs, two lucky geek watchers will get a chance to win these superhero Funko Bops.